high above the Solent off England's south coast, an unmanned drone hurries pathology samples across the water to a hospital on the Isle of Wight. It's four times faster than a conventional ferry crossing at a fraction of the cost, an enormous benefit to remote and island communities. And their stuff is delivered either by boat, which is really slow, or by manned aircraft, which is really expensive. Um, and so I can see a commercial operation in areas like that where there are poor logistics links, where a really cheap platform such as this can reliably deliver things and can fly at night, can fly in fog, can fly in poor weather. The ground-operated drone system was developed at the University of Southampton with the aim of distributing humanitarian aid. It's been given special permission to fly in Britain's skies to assist with the government's COVID-19 response. In fact, I like to think of it as a, as a sort of land rover of the sky, um, a similar sort of uh, niche in that it's very robust, uh, very tough, very easy to repair, uh, twin engines, so it's capable of flying on a single engine, therefore very reliable. The successful use of drone technology to transport medical supplies from the mainland here to St Mary's Hospital on the Isle of Wight is a breakthrough for island communities everywhere. But think of the wider humanitarian possibilities, the ability to deliver life-saving supplies to isolated communities by air efficiently at times of natural disaster or war or pandemic. It's easier just to be able to reach the places which were not reachable before. And, and you can even from London just uh, remotely pilot a drone, which is in Bangladesh, for example. So I think we really have a, a lot of potential. Charities like Doctors Without Borders already make extensive use of drones for filming and mapping hard to reach areas. But the Isle of Wight trial, with the ability to carry a 100 kilogram payload over a distance of 1,000 kilometers, is the most significant advance in autonomous drone flight yet. Jonah Holt, Al Jazeera, on the Isle of Wight.